you take your phone, you watch the charts. You do something, then you watch the charts. You watch the charts. You're looking for trades. That's not life. We are all different on end of the day, and we can use these statistics and probabilities to basically choose what is the best for us. Predictability and having a life. That's the way to do trading. Hello, Barna, and thank you for being here and uh, accept to make this uh, interview with um, with me. Please tell us a little bit uh, about yourself, like maybe how old are you, where you're from, and what do you do for a living uh, in uh, in this moment? Because this is a question that uh, a lot of people are asking themselves uh, when they want to do trading. Hello, George. First of all, this is my pleasure. To join you and uh, I'm from Romania. I am 27 years old. Soon I will be 28. For now, I am a truck driver. I drive in Scandinavia most of the time, North Norway. I am working in a, a plan like I work four weeks and after that I am going home for four weeks. So in that four weeks, I am home and uh, I can do whatever I want. And in that time, most of the time when I have free time, I try to do as much as possible backtest to improve my uh, trading. So basically you're a truck driver because I'm seeing right now that you're in cabin right now and probably have a break, yes. So basically you are uh, traveling around uh, in most of Scandinavia, you say? Like Norway? Yes, yes, um, most of Scandinavia. And uh, I'm driving uh, fish from North Norway down to South, to Oslo. And from Oslo, other trucks are uh, taking over and uh, bringing the fish down to Europe. All right, that's nice. And basically, you probably start trading to do some extra income at this moment as you have already a full-time job, yes? Or yes. Uh, let's say, wh wh what may be your plan, let's say, uh, you want to... Because at this moment, uh, I'm seeing that it's just an extra income type of side, which is great because you want to put into the work... Uh, uh, the time that you have, you say that you just drive for like four weeks and then uh, stay home for another four weeks? Yes, exactly. For four weeks, I am home. So I can say for four weeks, I am free. Okay, I have some duties also at home, but uh, not like uh, having a job nine to five or something like that. Yeah. So that trading come in a perfect place uh, in, uh, in this case. And, you know, I'm saying this to so many people that uh, the best thing you know is uh, for the beginning let's say the beginning to consider trading just as an extra income and of course keep your job and do everything possible to not rely just on the revenue that you're going to get out of trading because in that way you will be stressed and you may make mistakes and we know that in trading you cannot count one month from the first to the last and we need to you know make targets like three months six months and one year so you cannot expect you know to get the money out of trading at the end of the month to pay maybe your rent your bills uh, your mortgage or you know normal expenses so that's why guys if you're watching us i don't encourage anyone to quit their uh, job uh, straight away and start trading most of i encourage you to keep your job and you know do everything possible because it's possible with trading based on statistics and probabilities to make your own schedule when it's come to trading like uh, exact hours that you want to trade and basically do this as an extra income at the moment and in the moment when you made more money than you have in your job and you have like a, maybe six months the income that you will earn from the job into your bank account only at that moment take into consideration to like quit your job or maybe not so many people do their jobs because they like the job that they are doing maybe you are a doctor so you don't need to you know not be a doctor <laughs> anymore and uh, concentrate on trading but there are a lot of people that are doctors into our mentoring program and so on so that doesn't mean that you need to quit the job and <laughs> do trading. You can do them both. That's the best thing. Best thing. Like from the beginning, you say that you are from Romania. Uh, maybe you know me yes. before because I also had a community in Romania. Or maybe you know me from the Trading Busters directly. How did you discover me? How did you discover Trading Busters? I discovered the Trading Busters in Instagram by, uh, I can say his name, by a famous person. Oh, okay. Told okay. everyone. Everyone. This is a life-changing opportunity. And uh, he got really mu much uh, negative feedback. But I was, okay, why this guy, he's really famous, he has everything. 
why he should lie for everyone. So I give it a try. First, I join the Premium Buster Signals. I buy the proper formula. In the beginning, I got a funded account, and uh, the problem was my funded account had another, um, how to say, uh, the prices were different. $30, $25 difference between the signals what you give and uh, what was on the proper account. And after that came the mentoring program, and I decided to join this because already I had the funded account and I couldn't use it. So, and I wanted to be independent because maybe someday you will get enough and you will be tired and you say, okay, guys, from two months now, I will stop. And like this, I can't uh, rely on, uh, you know, on someone yes. else. I want to yes. make uh, my plan and like this. I mean, like you cannot plan for yourself when you are relying on, you know, signals because, you know, it was not a mentoring program before I started that, not for too long because of that, because I got a lot of requests regarding this, you know, like what's going on if you don't give signals anymore. And of course, you know, when you give signals, you know, there may be difference between the prices of the brokers, pro firms, whatever, because they use different type of liquidity providers, which is like basically normal trading conditions in in, in the market. So you say, okay, let's uh, get into this mentoring program. So in that way, I can give the chance to everyone that want to learn how to trade based on statistics and probabilities and be fully independent and basically, you know, make your own time. Because like you are, you, uh, you say you work as a truck dive, driver and maybe you have, you know, some specific hours when you can, you know, uh, place trades and stuff like that. And if I'm going to give signals, uh, you know, that I'm giving signals all the time at a specific hour, so maybe at that time you are driving. It's not really safe to uh, stay on the phone and play exactly. signals. Exactly. Uh, you know, or, yeah, or, you know, any other job, maybe you are a job, you don't have break. You cannot have break at that time and just miss the signals. When you have your own trading system, you choose the exact hours that you want to trade. You are in control of the situation and you know exactly what's going on. And of course, like you are seeing right now, you can create as many trading systems as you want. And you definitely don't need, let's say, don't need me anymore because you have everything there. The first steps are the, are the hardest one. But after you put into the work and start understanding the system, nothing can uh, can stop you from uh, from that moment. Barna, tell me, like, why did you decide to work with me and not with someone uh, else? Like, what convinced you, let's say? Because after you find out about me, maybe you search on the internet, you know, Forex or trading, you know, or stuff like that. And, uh, you know, the programs that I have were not, like, really cheap, let's say, or, like, more expensive than so many other things that come into the industry. Why decide to work with me and not, you know, maybe learn on your own on YouTube or uh, buy another uh, services from someone else that are maybe ma more cheaper? So before I heard of you, I was in some Discord groups from other, I can say, mentors. And I heard of trading in 2020 or 19, end of 19. First, I buy my course. I studied everything two times. I learned, I watched, and when I had to take a trade, I didn't know how to start. And I was completely, oh my God, what I can do with this? I paid the money, but I don't know how to start to place a trade to identify a trade. After that, I find someone else. I purchased this again. And with this one, it was, uh, how to say, much better. I know how to place a trade, but uh, with this was the problem, the emotions, you know, higher highs, higher lows, you have to identify. And when I have done back tests, sometimes I checked here is higher high, but can be this one because not and tough stuff like that. And uh, the emotions take over. And, uh, you know, I have seen maybe the chart before because on that uh, period, I took trade life and maybe this was a take profit. This was uh, a stop loss. When I have done back test, I remember, ah, okay, the, here was this and that. And I know that here will be a stop loss or a take profit. And the emotions um, get a little bit control, not full control. But here, maybe I have to drag uh, the Fibonacci a little bit lower, little bit higher, the stop loss here and there. And... Uh, I got uh, some profits also, but the losses 
were, were the same. So I was on the same level for uh, a longer time. So uh, all the time waiting for uh, the higher high, higher low. So not like in your uh, mentoring program, I can make a trading plan from nine o'clock to 10 o'clock. And in this hour, I can sit in front of the charts and after that I can take care of my day. With this plan from, let's say, from morning to afternoon, I have to check the chart. Okay, okay, it's and uh, wasn't the best because now I am driving. When I am home, let's say it's okay, but when I am driving, this is not acceptable at all because I have to pay attention. Because it's not just about, you know, making money in trading. Because I've, I've also been there. It's not just about making money in trading. Trading, it's also about, you know, to have some predictability and have some life. You know, like, I mean, like, exactly. I'm not sitting in front of the charts. You say about, like, uh, identify higher, high, higher, low, and all that stuff. And you know that if you're looking for a five-minute charts, you're going to see, like, uh, maybe a lower, low, lower, high, low. If you change with, like, 30 minutes time frame, then you'll see that's actually an up structure and it's higher, higher, and higher, low. Then if you change again in like maybe on four hour charts, you're going to see that it's sideways. That's crazy. And like you said, the fact that it make you basically watch the charts all day long, like you cannot control this. Like, like you take your phone, you watch the charts, you do something that you watch the charts, you watch the charts, you're looking for trades. That's not life. Even if you make money, in that way, that's literally not the way to do it if you want to like live longer. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, oh, yeah. that's too stressful. <laughs> it, it's not really, it's not really worth it. So that's why, you know, I created this system and I push this to everyone because you can also have the job because in my point of view, you know, trading is not just about some charts, not at all, but trading is like an ecosystem. You know, most of the people there are starting with the job with working class. I've been in working class also. So, you know, I'm not like born rich or stuff like that. And I knew how hard it was for me to be able to also trade and keep my job because I couldn't rely on trading because the emotions were even higher when I'm putting everything on trading. So I needed, you know, to like, for example, you know, keep the job and also do trading. How can I fix this? After the statistics and probabilities come into my face five years ago, start making sense. And I knew that that's a way and like you're saying right now, that's the way for you to be able to keep the job. Because guys, I'm not saying this just like that. It's important. It's a part of the process for you to have a source of income when you do trading, to be able to not the emotions take everything. With the statistics and probabilities, like you say, Barna, it's a way for you to trade because you choose the exactly hours that you want to trade and that's it. You don't need to like watch the phone and stuff like that. So it's very important guys, you know, in trading to have a source of income and be able to do trading in the same time as extra income in the beginning. And then if you really want to do it, because it's not necessary to like quit your job or give up what you're doing, the business or everything, you can all the time have this as an extra income type of size because trading is, doesn't really take that much from you. I mean, like I'm trading in the morning, like five to 10 minutes. That's it for me. Maybe you're going to get bored sometime, you know, to just that. Uh, so it's good to have something else to do. Maybe it can be a job. Maybe you can do business, side business, whatever. Barna, but I think so you answered this question already, but let's see. Like, what did you try before and where were your frustration about it? You say that you've been in some other groups, uh, you bought other courses. What, what was the biggest frustration at that moment for you? The biggest frustration, how I said, I had to watch the chart all day and, uh, you know, I placed the Fibonacci and let's say from level 60% up or down. And when I said the take profit to the recent higher high or lower low, and uh, sometimes went up a little bit, I pull it in break even so I don't uh, lose the money and it came back. So I went on break even and after that the price went up to the take profit or uh, stuff like this. And the other problem was when I said the take profit to the recent um, higher high or lower low, the win ratio was different. Sometimes one to four, one to two, one to seven or eight and that was also not uh, so good for me because I, I didn't like it because maybe it went up a little bit, came back and uh, you cannot be predictable, how you say. Maybe this week I make only, let's say, two winnings or 
it wasn't so good Hawaii. Yeah, because, because after that half year I quit trading. I didn't do back tests, nothing because I had enough. I said this is not for me. But uh, after that I tried again, and that's uh, when um, after that uh, for two months or three I find out of uh, trading busters. Yes, because, you know, people need to understand also that trade based on statistics and probability is not just, you know, a way that you can have like predictable results, but it's actually, I think so, one of the quickest way, let's say, the, the fastest way to be able to be consistent, profitable, you know, this trading based on statistics and probabilities, uh, like you can confirm this, Barna, is not like rocket science. You don't need to be a mad genius or stuff like that. I mean, like, uh, not at all, but it's going to make this process that is going to make you profitable much faster because there is no emotions involved in the process. After you get your system, of course, you have your mentor that you can work with all the time. And Barna, maybe you can confirm this also, that it's very important yeah. for you to work with a mentor because otherwise, you know, you're going to make it even if you just watch the online course, uh, you're going to make it. That's absolutely no doubt, but it may take you longer. But when you work with a mentor, basically, you know, you understand everything much faster and you're going to get help to create the perfect conditions to create your own trading system on uh, your own uh, uh, terms. And after you can, after you create your first uh, profitable trading system with your mentor help, then you can create how many uh, do you want uh, on your own. It's absolutely no problem because you understand all the process. And when you understand the process, everything is simple. So guys, trading based on statistics and probability is not just about like predictability and making money, but it's actually, you know, the fastest way in trading that will going to take you from not profitable to profitable trader. It can be for, you know, depending on the time that you spent on the, on the backtesting and speaking with your mentor, because this is very important. You can get there in one month or you can get there in six months, depending, of course, uh, how much are you working with your uh, mentor and how how much time you are putting in it. Of course, if you're putting like one hour per day in the beginning learning, that's going to be like a larger period of time until you get profitable. If you are going to spend, for example, five hours per day, you know, backtesting and speaking with your mentor and stuff like that, of course, it can be one month. You understand the, uh, the idea. Predictability and having a life. That's the way to do trading because otherwise there is absolutely no point. You're going to, like Barnes say, you say that you quit trading because of that. It's easy because it's madness. You know, it's going to make you crazy. You're not going to have life. So even if you make some money, that's literally uh, not worth it in my point of view because I've been there. I made money. I lost everything and almost, you know, to lost even my minds because that's crazy that every single minute looking at the phone, making chart analysis, changing the time frame and something else is it's, it's literally crazy. It, it makes you crazy. And those emotions, like you say, Barna, that you move the stop loss to break even, then the, the price come back, hit the stop loss and then went back up. It's make you crazy, literally. And then maybe you decide, you look at the charts, you want to put a break even, but you remember that last time when you did this, it went back up and hit take profit. And this time, you're yes. not going to move it to break even. You will leave it there. And guess what? This time, come back and hit your stop loss. Exactly. That's... And the <laughs> other good part of this trading system, when you are doing back test, back then, I hope, okay, I hope this will be a, a take profit. Let's hope this will be a take profit. Let's hope like, it's not going to be a stop loss. But now, when I'm making a back test, sorry, I am not like this. Okay, I hope this will be a, a take profit or something. When I am doing back test, I am really harsh with my trading system because if it's like I put a risk reward one to zero point five and it's zero point forty nine and it's going back to stop loss, I don't take that one like a take profit. I take like a, oh, a stop loss because in the future when I will be trading live. It's better to be like this because um, I don't have so much, so high expectancy. I don't expect, okay, this will be again, take profit, take profit, take profit. Exactly. And, you know, you don't take decisions when you do, even when you trade based on analyzing the market, uh, you know, market structure, whatever, 
you take decisions even when you do backtesting because uh, you'll see, okay, so this is the high, this is the low, this is whatever, you know? So you, you even then, even at that moment, you take decisions. But when you do backtesting with that, with, you know, technical analysis or any other uh, system like that, you when you do backtesting, you see what's happened and you are going to take the best decision for that trade to hit the take profit, let's say. But of course, then when you do mar real market conditions, you don't have that much time to think. And you need to act and take a decision at that moment. But you see, when you are backtesting with this system, there is no emotions involved in the process in backtesting. You don't take any decision. So that's why you say that, you know, you know exactly when the take profit is going to be hit or not. So you don't really care. Like you say, you don't care if it's going to be a stop loss or take profit, like nobody cares. It doesn't matter at all. You just need the overall results. And then that's it. After that, you have the system you saw. Then you place the trades. And that's it. You don't really care what's going to happen into one trade or whatever. And you say, you know, you know that I'm a big fan of like a, a very high win rates and negative risk to even if there are negative risk to reward ratio. Like uh, my favorite uh, type of risk to reward is 1 to 0 0.5. But, you know, you can basically have a one to one, one to two, one to three with the same based on statistics and probability type of system. You choose basically what type of risk to reward you want to use. And this is something very important, what you are comfortable with. You know, maybe you are not comfortable with the one to 0 0.5 like me. So maybe you are comfortable using one to three. So you're going to create a trading system that is going to get you one to three risk to ratio based on statistics and probabilities. This is also very important and that you need to choose the right risk to reward ratio that is going to be comfortable for your brain to take into consideration. So we are all different on end of the day and we can use these statistics and probabilities to basically choose what is the best for us. The trading hours, the trading pairs, the trading assets, if you don't trade uh, Forex, you know, and of course, the uh, uh, risk to reward ratio that it's comfortable for uh, for us. Barna, please tell me, where did you take the most value working with uh, us, with Trading Busters, with uh, uh, with your mentor also? The most valuable uh, thing in this mentoring program was when, okay, I watched all the videos and the uh, beginning we had these um, meetings when we can ask you things. But the most valuable thing was when I started to a back test and uh, I see like this is not gonna work. But uh, I asked my mentor, "Hey, I am back testing this and that with these conditions. What do you say? I can give it a try to more back test or not?" And he told me, "My opinion is you better focus on this, on that, or uh, you can change this with this." And that was the best thing because um, earlier. I just watched the videos and I started to do back test okay and now maybe here like this oh no 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 like that and I was confused I watched again the videos I started again the back test but came another uh, problem or question oh and here okay I have to watch again the videos and like this I can ask my mentor and he can explain every time I can ask my mentors sometimes even in weekends Saturday Sundays and he he still replies. That's also really good. Not like from Monday to Friday, from eight o'clock to five o'clock. And uh, I am driving. I finish six o'clock. Okay, I want to do back that, but I can't ask my mentor because he's not available. So this is also, I think this is the best part of this. People need to understand the mentors are basically people that did with me uh, mentoring one to one when I did it in uh, back in Romania with like only few people and they, you know, get very 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 good results and very important they also wanted to give back to the community because this is not the uh, you know like a job for them like you say barna is not like something you can send message from like uh, uh, monday to friday from eight to five no like you say you can ask a question over the weekend and you're gonna get a reply or you can ask questions uh, in the night and you're gonna get a reply because the mentors are basically you know people like me that they don't have like jobs or, uh, you know, stuff like that. They are not uh, pay on a monthly basis or, or, or things like this, okay? So they are making very good money out of trading and that's why they really want to give back to the community. So that's why it's important to have uh, a mentor because it's not someone that it's obligated to answer to your message, you know? 
they are very happy to help. They are very happy to give back to the community. How I teach them, how I reply to them in uh, in the past, you know, they got value from that and they understand that it is very important to have uh, some replies to some questions, to not spend too much time on that. And this is what they are doing right now. You know, that's why they, when I asked them if they want to do this, they said, okay, not just for the money, you know, that they are making extra out of this, but because they want to give back, they have enough money, but they, it's important for them to want to give back to the community because otherwise nobody's going to reply to you on Sunday, for example, or or eight uh, in a night or uh, whatever. People need to understand that here at Trading Busters, it's not just another online course. It's not another, you know, I'm really putting a lot of time into this and, uh, you know, I bring in the team, you know, members and people that want to basically give back to the community and give uh, the help. And that's why the process is that fast from people getting from zero or basically not profitable to profitable and very, very profitable in a very short period of time. When you're talking about like three to six months, that's a very short period of time. People are doing trading for like five years, maybe even more than that. And they are not still profitable. But with the system, with the ecosystem that I created here at Trading Busters, with this mentoring program that you get also mentor and all the support that you need, we can shortcut that a lot in matter of like half a year, one year. It's still a very short period of time to be able to, you know, be fully independent, have the trading system that you want, basically choose exactly the hours and, and, and everything. Few more questions, okay? And I'm not gonna keep you uh, too long. <laughs> maybe maybe you are also a bit tired. You say that you come uh, out from uh, from driving and you are in a break now and I don't really want to keep you too, uh, too long, okay? What do you think was the impact by working with us, uh, not just in trading, maybe in life? For example, maybe less stress, maybe more time for yourself, you know, some things that uh, not really necessarily relate to trading. If you want to share that, of course, it's like not necessary. Uh, I can share that, no problem. Uh, so working with you and with this uh, mentoring program, applying this um, strategy, it was uh, less stressful than with the other trading system and i trade with others i non-stop i check the phone oh, oh okay it's gonna be that that and uh, it keep me stressed a little bit because all day i had to check the phone but now i have that period of time one hour let's say two hours i finish with the trading and i can put my phone away okay from now it's uh, not stress coming from trading so it was more quiet and uh Piece. And yeah. when I have done the back test, also back then the back test was uh, intense because I hoped, okay, let's see, maybe will be a take profit, yeah. stop plus. But now when I have to do back test, it's boring because okay, let's it see be what boring. it's gonna be. Yes. So if if, if you, guys if you hear this, so if it's not boring, you do something wrong. So trading doesn't need to be excited, you know. Yeah. If if you are excited uh, when you do like back testing or stuff like that, it, it can be a problem. It's not a good sign. So trading need to be boring. So it's about stress and it's about the fact that you can, you know, choose like one hour maybe trading per day and you can take care of your day without thinking even one second about trading and basically still make money and, and, and stuff like that. That I also think it's something very important for the people that uh, are working with us because i remember myself there was no life there and i don't know like i mean like i trade place trade you know in the morning i am a morning person i like to wake up earlier as possible so but it doesn't have to be everyone like me maybe there are person that they wake up at one who cares okay <laughs> it, you don't need to be uh to wake up earlier in the morning like i do or stuff like that so that's why it's important because you can choose exactly the hours that you want to trade. You are not compelled by anything. You can choose the hours that you want and that's it. One last question. And this is one of my favorite questions uh, because everything here that helped me grow that fast, because we grow pretty fast internationally uh, in a very short period of time. It was the feedback. I appreciate a lot the feedback. I don't believe that you can uh, grow without uh, the feedback from the people. So my last question is, you only mention good things, say something bad as well. Like, what didn't you like? What uh, we can improve at Trading Busters when it's come to our mentoring program? If it's something that comes to your mind, 
that will be great if you can share that with us. Oh, uh, this is a tough uh, question. Nothing uh, came into mind because uh, obviously I wasn't forced to buy this. You presented me this mentoring program and the uh, Buster signals, and I was convinced by it. I was okay, maybe I should okay, and I didn't hesitate when I speak with uh, my uh, account manager who presented me the mentoring program. I was okay when he told me you can join today, and I said okay, I will join. I didn't hesitate, so I I can say now something bad because nothing came to my mind. So that's great. Thank you. Thank you for this. So, <laughs> uh, I don't want you to say something bad. Okay. So uh, but, <laughs> you know, if you need anything, if you have anything to say, okay, I all the time, you know, want to get that to be able to, you know, fix it, improve it, see if I can improve it or not. But if you don't have anything bad to say, that means uh, we are on the right uh, path. Let's say. So uh, not uh, really necessarily need to be to be changed there because you know people also did does the, those type of mistakes that they are continue changing in where is not need to change. So this is also good from uh, the feedback from your side that you know it's okay how it is. So we don't change anything uh, for for the moment. Thank you very much for uh, share with us because a lot of people are going to watch this uh, video. Uh, so thank you for uh, sharing the feedback uh, with, uh, with us. Uh, you are welcome. Traders, I hope you enjoyed the video and saw how profitable it is to trade based on statistics and probabilities. It took me years to develop this new trading concept and now thousands of traders are using it and make daily consistent profits. But don't take my word for it and see for yourself. If you want to level up, you can join my free Telegram community, have exclusive access to trading webinars, live Q&A sessions and proven trading tips that actually work all for free. We also have a premium mentorship program where I work with traders one-on-one -on -one and teach them everything I've learned in 10 years of trading. It's wild. And that's about it. Don't forget to follow us online and to like, share and subscribe. You will find all the useful links in the description below. See you in the next video.